here you can see a wing indicator this is the red line PAXS model wing indicator here on the display you can see it's showing the load in ton this is showing minus 0.43 we will adjust it to the zero first of all I will show you the connection of this red line weighing indicator 1 and 2 for the AC supply 3 4 5 6 for the load cell 3 4 for signal and 5 6 for the load cell supply volt and here you can see 18 and 19 for the output milliamps this brown and blue cable for the output milliamps red and black this is for the AC supply and this is the load cell cable this is a four wire load cell we have connected with this weighing indicator the red line PE access model I will show you the parameters with the power button we can go into the parameters with up and down we can scroll down its blocks with the up we will go into the first block which is input its first parameter is range its range is 0.2 u this is a code and we can change it to point 0.02 u or 0.2 u as per our requirement second parameter is decimal point how much digits we need after the decimal point we can change it with up button then the round how much value it will round show in the round figure we can adjust it 0.01 or 0.02 or 0.1 as per our requirement this is the band its band is the next parameter is PTS so we have default value is 2 then the style the style is key that with the pressing key we can change its output so input 1 is 4.35 that at the 4.35 millivolt it will display a display display 1 which is 0 so when it will show the 0 then the millivolt at the input from the load cell will be 4.3 input 2 is its span at the maximum value 13.3 millivolt it will show 50 ton at the display so these were the parameters in the input block with this display button we can go back to the display here you can see it's showing minus 0.4 but we have connected it to a bin which is empty so we will adjust it to the zero by changing its input input one we will change this parameter input one to adjust its zero calibration this is 4.3 so I just for showing you if I down then what will the display I will show you zero point one five I will make it more down by changing its input one parameter this is the parameter we can change to adjust its zero display or we can say that we can do the zero calibration with this parameter you can see it's showing 0.2 now it's in value is positive so we will try to adjust it as close to zero as we can by changing this parameter input one now I will change it a little increase and then we will check the display 
this is almost zero because there is a little variation because it's a large bin so because of the wind there is some variation in its display the next block is the second block which is function third is log four is secondary functions five is the totalizer functions six is the set point seven is the serial and eight is the out that output how much output we are taking and there are different parameters in it 4 to 20 milliamps we are taking as output we can also adjust it to 0 to 20 ASIN is its input its low is 0 its I value what it will display 20 is 50 ton at 50 ton it will give us 20 milliamps so these are the parameters for the output milliamps setting. I will scroll the all parameters to show you that what are the main parameters I have already told you about the input one and display one that at this input it will display this and input two at this input 13.3 millivolt it will display the maximum value which is 50 ton in this case now the second block is function we can configure the function user 1 function 2 3 f1 f2 as per our requirement but here we have not using any function now I will show you the third block which is the lock so it's lock is I and we can made it lock or the red so these are the two parameters in this lock function this is the third block of this red line way indicator totalizer is we can change it its code as per our requirement if we will change then after inserting the code we can go into the parameters four block is secondary functions of about the totalizer these all parameters are related to the totalizer the next block which is the totalizer display its base totalizer base and these all parameters are also related to the totalizer we can change its value and this will affect the totalizer the next block in this red line weighing indicator is set point we are not using in this case because this model does not support this set point the serial also not supported by this model of red line bang indicator the 8 block is output I have already told you about it so this was about the introduction of this red line bang indicator I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something about it thanks for watching